Welcome back to Sister <laughs> Circle Live. He's my label mate and one of the most prolific voices yes. in gospel music. Picked as the Prince of Gospel, this Grammy-nominated phenom is best known for faith anthems like Show Up and New Life. Mm. That's right. John P. Key's music is part of the soundtrack of our lives. And Rashawn recently sat down to chat with him about that and much more. Let's take a look. We are so very lucky to be joined by the incomparable, I would have to say legendary, John P. Key. How are you, sir? I am amazing. I'm excited. It's early. Uh, right. But I'm, but I'm loving it. Right, know? right. Yeah. It's good. So you have such a rich discography, and mm -hmm. you were responsible to bringing like fun sounds to gospel. Was that something mm -hmm. that was intentional for you or just happened organically? Uh, absolutely. I, I came from the Donald Bird jazz cameo era so <laughs> right, um, right. you know after after salvation I didn't feel I had to change and I never wanted to be a singer I always wanted to be a writer mm -hmm. so um, um, actually coming into the industry and uh, bringing uh, uh, my opus was, was was fun. I've never heard it described like that, but it was fun. Yeah, and I enjoyed it. So yeah, much. but we want. I want to go back to to, mm -hmm. to why you even started in music. It was yeah. you and your siblings, sixteen right. siblings, right, to right. try to fight for the attention of your parents That's through it. music. That's it. Tell everybody that story. Well, well, mom and dad um, uh, were musical, and uh, we talk about it in, in the movie I'm producing now. And um, everybody competed for that that moment with daddy or that moment with mommy. So the piano was actually purchased for my older siblings, Wayne and Gene, mm -hmm. but I started messing around uh -oh. and them three chords turned into four. And when I would, daddy would make up his little songs, right. I'd jump on the piano. So I, I called myself the golden child. Yes, yeah. so they knew the golden child yes. had the gift. Right, right. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, we talk a lot, a bit, a lot about this on the show, just yeah. bridging the gap between right. gospel and secular music. Yeah. And you've been able to now navigate that so yeah. so beautifully, right. especially with working with Snoop Dogg and, right. and doing all of that. I mean, how important is mm -hmm. it for you to continue to cultivate the relationships across the board with okay. all types of artists? First of all, you can't be afraid. When Snoop even called me about that project, he says I got excited. The truth is he got excited. <laughs> but uh, Snoop's friend and uh, you, you know, you've got to erase that line. Um, yeah. We just had a major interview a few days ago um, talking about where that line is, where is that tape? Who mm -hmm. put that tape down? So we, we must understand that if you're really ministering and you're called to love, and, and I'm not the ordinary preacher, don't take a salary as a pastor, I'm the beyond the four walls pastor. Okay. So I have 83 ministries that go outside. I've got an ex-drug dealers association uh, ministry in my church. We go get them. I yes. believe that the prostitute can become the worship dancer. Yes. And the way you do that is you cross that line. Mm -hmm. So I'm not afraid to do it Yes. Yeah. Speaking of cross that line, I'd love to get your opinion on mm -hmm. Kanye and how yeah. he is bringing his Sunday service not only inside yeah. the church but taking it all across, yeah. going to yeah. HBCU homecomings. What yeah. are your thoughts on that? Yeah. And uh, do you see this as a way to get the people and go to the people where they are? Absolutely. Well, first of all, he doesn't have to do it. And um, they're beating him up pretty bad in, in, in the media. Um, here's what I love. Mm -hmm. The fact that he can go on a stage and we hear Jesus as Lord I love that. I'm, I'm motivated by it. I see kids that would never ever think right. about their spiritual right. sense or, 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 or being conscious of who God is. And um, I love it. I love mm -hmm. it. I, I, pastors are nervous. They're nervous that their offerings are going to get cut. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, right. uh, but, but, uh, no, I'm not. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I think pastors are real scared. Mm -hmm. I, I, a church is scared. Don't be afraid. We've got to embrace these babies. I've been doing it for years. Whatever you can do to go get them. Yes. Jesus didn't just disciple. He went to. Yeah. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. I'm loving the fact that they're using even gospel music uh, as an agent to communicate. Yes. So I'm loving these are worship songs, you yeah, know, yeah. and uh, I got a little inside. I know what's going on with production. So I actually know that, that he's getting ready to take this to the next level. Yeah. So if they're nervous now, uh, get them some jackets because it's about to happen. It's about it's to shake happen. Them up. Yeah. Shake them up. You know, we always, uh, uh, we get a little nosy down to Sister Circle. So yeah. we went down to your social media and you had a picture of an old project that never happened, that people never heard. <laughs> and you said in the caption of the post, you, you went on to talk about the masters and legal headaches, but this is the said, you said the project that was never released. Right. How does that make you feel that some of your greatest music or music that you want the masses right, to right. hear will never be heard or may never be heard? Since I'm your real Uncle John, I'm gonna tell you yes, the truth. Yes, tell me, Unc. Um, we, I have a catalog that's so huge 
because when I would do songs years ago, I always stayed out of the red. I was always in the black because I would st instead of doing 10 songs or 12 songs, we do 25 songs. Mm -hmm. We do 22 songs. So we have so, so much music left over. Right. So I have a catalog of about 35, 3,600 songs that we've never released. Yeah. So God forbid anything would happen, but my babies will release John P. Key projects for the next 25 years. My God, my God, that's yeah. good. So somebody's yeah. gonna hear it. Somebody's gonna hear the music. Somebody's gonna hear <laughs> the music. All right, awesome, awesome. Uh, when yeah. we come back, we're gonna talk about your latest project, which you alluded to earlier, yeah. musically, and also your new film yeah. about your dad. So stay right where you are, more with John P. Key when we return. All right, that was a taste of John P. Key's hit single, I Made It Out, from his track title album, Made It Out. And of course, we are back with the legendary John P. Key. Uh, let's talk a little bit about the album. It's, it's doing very well. Yeah. And the sounds, what were the key sounds that you needed to have in this particular project? Well, you know, this project was um, uh, so motivating. Um, we're speaking to a nation now mm. that, that you and I know is struggling to yes. find itself. Yes. So I Made It Out is, is not just a song, it's the test. Testimony. Yes. And what I knew about it, I made it out, just like uh, some of the former hits, um, um, Life in Favor. I made it out speaks to the person, what you really came out of, mm. and what you're holding on to. So I knew <laughs> once everybody would hear it, everybody had the testimony. It's the hold on part. Yeah, that's the hold that, on part. It stops you from get, getting there. Come on now. Yes, but we made it we, out. We made it out. And we're going to make it out. And see, and that spirit of that yes. is what. Oh, shit, I think the entire project. Yes, absolutely. Speaking yeah. of project, you mm -hmm. are currently producing and yeah. directing a movie about your father. Yeah. Tell us the importance of telling his story. Um, that story is important because that story speaks to the heart. Um, I tell a story about my father in 1947 who gains a record deal in New York. And on the way, because of the prejudice of the South, uh, the Klan turns their bus around. They don't just turn it around, they shoot out the back tire mm. in the movie. And so in all of that, that was to discourage him, nine years old, losing his mom, uh, 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 father, not really being there yeah. for the kids. Out of that story, we find encouragement. And it's an amazing story of victory. I just pray I make you Unk makes you proud. Unk, unk, unk you're yeah. going to make me proud. You continue <laughs> to make us proud. Uh, yeah. You know, B.B. Winans talked about the racism that he endured oh, yeah. in, in his career. Yeah. And you had an album, Colorblind, right. that, that really focused yeah. on, on, on racism yeah. as well. Yeah. What did you endure? I came right behind B.B. B.B. was at uh, PTL. Uh, I was at Buffalo Park at PTL. And I endured a lot. I'm one of the only uh, persons that can testify um, that um, um, we have been on the road so many times where we have not only just endured racism, but we dealt with it in a way that we grew, we grew on, we grew out of it. Yes. You know, and what I mean by that is it, we didn't allow it to discourage us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, and, and we look at the climate now where we have to bring these songs back of encouragement, colorblind. Was before it's time, and it's 22 years old last week. Right. So I'm excited. It's still about, time. It's still time. Yeah. I'm excited about bringing that music back. Good, good. Well, in the 80s, you were coined the Prince of Gospel. <laughs> if you had to pass the torch on to someone currently, wow. without getting yourself in trouble, right? Who would it be? Today it would be Micah Stampley. Yes. It would my be God. Micah. He lost his baby yesterday, but he's a dear heart. He's on this um, I Made It Out project, and people think I just met Micah. But Micah Stampley, um, so many artists, James Fortune, Isaac Curry, mm -hmm. a lot of these kids came out of the VIP conference with me for years. June Thompson, uh, Zacardi Cortez. Yes. I, I, I literally raised a lot of these babies, and I, I'm so excited about what we're doing as in passing the torch that they're, they're still holding up the banner. Yes, so, um, and, I would do and so are you, legend. <laughs> we appreciate you for Thank all you that so you've much. done for music yeah. and all that you're continuing to do to continue yeah. the legacy, not only for yourself, but your, for your father as well. The one Thank and only you. John P. Key. Oh, oh, Uncle's wow. great. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love great Uncle. interview. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. He was just, just, just a wealth of knowledge. Yeah. Right. right. 
Just, yeah. he's legendary. Then, yes. I love the crossover with music, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, bring Snoop on. Kanye, too. He's bringing it all the time. Everybody. Bring it all on. Man, I love trying it. trying to save some soul. That's what we do. But again, it was great talking to John P. Key, also known as Unk. Make sure you check out his new album, I Made It Out, which is available on all streaming platforms. And as always, the conversation continues at Sister Circle TV on all social media platforms. Yay. So, so comfortable, like home.